Now we've had uh, kind of a dreary day today. It you know, it's been in the 40s, but we'll be very thankful if we could get uh -oh. highs in the 40s by Monday, Vicki. More cold air headed our way. Let's take a look at uh, the radars now. Over the last six hours, we have seen some rain move across the area. And uh, nothing real heavy. Most areas have seen well less than a half an inch of rain. Many areas not even that much. Now most of the uh, precipitation uh, diminishing a bit and moving off onto the Cumberland Plateau. This is a live scan here up through uh, parts of Cumberland and Fentress County up into south central Kentucky here in Clinton and Cumberland County up there. Maybe a hit and miss little shower showing up uh, on radar. We're getting a pattern of drizzle and uh, just generally dreary weather out there. The satellite view shows all the clouds hanging in behind this system and the redevelopment of some showers hours back to the to the west, excuse me. So we'll continue with the possibility of a few showers moving across the area uh, during the evening hours. Most of the skies, most of the time will be cloudy tonight, and there's even more cloud cover that will fill in during the day tomorrow. So I don't think we're going to see a lot of sun here over the next 24 hours. Or so in Nashville right now, we have 49 degrees, 86 percent. The relative humidity south southwesterly winds at six. And that 49 degree reading has been the highest in the hourlies in Clarksville. Now 49 degrees. You've had 64 hundredths of an inch of rain there. Here's the view from our Skynet camera in Franklin, 48 degrees and 21 hundredths of an inch of rain in our rain gauge there. Gallatin, 37 hundredths of an inch of rain and 46 degrees. So temperatures trying to warm up a little bit where the sun did make an appearance uh, back to the west. 53 up in Murray, Kentucky. Everybody else pretty much in the mid to upper 40s. Temperatures are not going to fall a whole lot tonight on us, but eventually colder air will work in here. Look at this 64 in Memphis up the road. It's 37 in St. Louis, but it's 15 in Sioux Falls, Iowa. I'm sorry, Sioux Falls, South Dakota and eight below zero up in Winnipeg now. And that's this kind of uh, air that's headed southward. It's not going to be that cold for us, but it is going to be, I think, the coldest day of the season so far when we get on into Monday. Computer models showing some scattered showers still in the area through the evening hours. This is at 11 o'clock tonight and then for tomorrow, still some clouds hanging around for much of the day, five o'clock Saturday, and we'll move on into Sunday morning at six o'clock. Uh, latest run on the model has some sunshine returning on Sunday, but there will be a disturbance moving through by Sunday evening that could put a few brief flurries in the area, although models not showing much precipitation with that tonight, uh, partly to mostly cloudy skies and 43 degrees overnight tonight. Uh, we're going to go with 36 at 7 o'clock in the morning at noon 39 and at 3 o'clock 41. We'll see a high tomorrow of 42 and a low of 26. Then look what happens on Sunday, a high of just 40 and a low of 13. And there could be a few flurries in the area on Sunday. Nothing of any impact on Monday. MLK day 28, the high and a low of 12. So yeah, it's going to feel like January on Monday, Tuesday, 37 and 25. Then on Wednesday, a disturbance moving through could give us some rain or snow. 42 the high, 28 the low, 43 Thursday and partly cloudy skies on Friday and 49 degrees. And of course, we'll have another look coming up at five o'clock. Back over to you, Vicki and Carrie.